The Arduino Sensor Kit by Sun Founder is a comprehensive toolkit designed to unlock the full potential of Arduino-based projects. It doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or a professional, you will find the Sun Founder Ultimate Sensor Kit essential. Beginners can use this sensor kit to learn the basics such as how to use different sensors with Arduino and how to program them. Professionals, on the other hand, can utilize this sensor kit to build prototypes and verify their codes. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the box and check what we have got inside this box. So without any further delay, let's get started. As soon as I opened this plastic box and my eyes fell on this plastic tray, I was genuinely impressed. Sun Founder has done a splendid job by including this plastic tray. Often during experiments, electronic components are easily misplaced or fall off the table. Now we can conveniently place essential components in this tray. I can already see a breadboard, a 9 volt battery, SG90 micro servo and some other components. Let's explore and see what else is in the box. The box is literally full of components so first i'm going to unpack all these components and then we will go through each one of them First, let's start with these large items. In this sensor kit, you also receive a DC water pump. You can use it in your Arduino and IoT based plant watering projects, automatic bottle filling projects, and various other small projects where a DC water pump is required. This sensor kit includes a capacity of soil moisture sensor that can be used in soil moisture monitoring projects. By combining this soil moisture sensor with the DC water pump, you can create a complete plant soil moisture monitoring system. Here is the item to see supported 16 into 2 LCD. This LCD module is essential in many of your projects as it is used for displaying text messages and sensor values. This sensor kit also has this DC motor that you can use with the Arduino using a motor driver and this way you can learn how to control the speed and direction. Don't worry this sensor kit also has a dual H-bridge motor driver. This is the 0 to 180 degrees SG90 micro servo. You can use it for steering in robots, controlling the tilt of a camera and even building a door lock. In this sensor kit, you also get a breadboard which allows you to use components without any soldering. Breadboard is one of the must-have tools for testing your prototype projects. The kit includes an original Arduino Uno R4 minima board. It's time to upgrade and Sun Founder has done an excellent job by including the Arduino Uno R4 minima board in this sensor kit. Personally, I haven't used this board yet so I will create a detailed video on its features. Along with this board you also receive a USB Type-C cable for uploading programs and sending commands and sensor values to the serial monitor and other desktop locations. Using the included 9 volt battery you can power up the Arduino and all the other sensors. Here is the raindrops detection module which you can use to create a weather monitoring project. These are some male to male and male to female jumper wires. With the help of these wires we can interface different sensors and modules with Arduino. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller components. This is an RGB LED module and you can use this in different projects. Let's say when the sensor value is normal, you can simply turn on the green LED. When the sensor value starts to increase, you can turn on the blue LED. And when the sensor value exceeds a threshold value, then you can turn on the red LED. You can also use it in security projects and for testing the output states. A push button with Arduino allows beginners to create interactive projects like games or alarms, facilitating hands-on learning and improving coding skills by introducing elements of user input and control. It's a touch module and you can use it just like the push button. The only difference is you don't need to press anything. You only touch this part of the module to control anything you want, but first you will need to program it. This is a potentiometer module. You can use this with the Arduino analog pins to control the LED brightness or motor speed, or simply you can use it as an analog sensor for testing your code. This sensor kit also has an LDR module. 
Eldia stands for Light Dependent Resistor. Using this sensor, you can make a day and night detection system, and this way you can automatically control your outdoor lights. You can use this Eldia module with a laser to make a security system and so on. This is an analog to access joystick, and you can use this to control robots, servos, DC motors, build DC motors, RC cars, RC robots, and lots of other things. A 5 volt buzzer is a small electronic component that produces sound when an electrical signal is applied. It is commonly used in Arduino projects for generating audible alerts, notifications, or simple sound effects based on programmed conditions. I'm sure you will need it for your sensor and security-based projects. The DHT11 sensor is a digital temperature and humidity sensor module. It includes a humidity sensing component and a thermistor to measure the surrounding air's humidity and temperature. It communicates with an Arduino or other microcontrollers through a digital signal, providing real-time data for environmental monitoring and control applications. The HC-R04 ultrasonic sensor is a popular distance measurement device used with Arduino and other microcontrollers. It utilizes ultrasonic waves to determine the distance between the sensor and an object by measuring the time taken for the sound waves to travel to the object and back. It is commonly implied in robotics, obstacle detection, and various projects require requiring accurate distance measurements. You can also use this for water level monitoring. The VL53LOX is a laser ranging module, specifically a time of flight TOF distance sensor. It uses a laser light source to measure the time it takes for the emitted light to bounce back from an object, allowing it to calculate the distance to the target. The VL53LOX is known for its precision and is often used in applications such as robotics, drones, and proximity sensing. The IR of Obstacle Avoidance Module is a sensor module designed to detect obstacles and its proximity using infrared IR technology. It typically consists of an infrared transmitter and receiver pair. The transmitter emits infrared light which bounces off nearby objects and is then detected by the receiver. When an obstacle is present, the reflected infrared signal triggers the module to indicate the obstruction. This type of module is commonly used in robotics and automated systems for obstacle detection and avoidance. A PIR passive infrared module is a motion sensor that detects changes in infrared radiation within its field of view. It contains a passive infrared sensor that responds to heat emitted by living beings. When motion is detected, the PIR module sends a signal making it useful for applications such as motion activated lighting, security systems, and automation. This is a flame sensor module. It detects the presence of flames or fire by responding to infrared radiation generated by the flame. MQ-2 gas sensor module detects various gases including methane, propane, carbon monoxide, and smoke. It is commonly used for gas leakage detection. NPU-6050 is an inertial measurement unit IMU that combines an accelerometer and gyroscope. It is used for motion sensing and orientation tracking. LED traffic light module mimics a traffic light with red, yellow, and green LEDs, often used for educational purposes or small-scale traffic control simulations, you can also use it in a parking project. OLED display module incorporates an organic light emitting diode OLED display for showing information in a clear and vibrant manner. Just like the 16 into 2 LCD, you can use this OLED display module for printing text messages and sensor values. Vibration sensor detects vibrations and movement, commonly used in alarms, vibration activated switches, or to monitor machinery. Heart rate module measures a person heart rate often used in health and fitness applications typically includes a sensor and processing circuitry. DS1302 RTC module is a real-time clock RTC based on the DS1302 chip. Keeps track of time even when the main system is powered off, commonly used in projects requiring timekeeping. Atmospheric pressure module measures atmospheric pressure often used in weather stations and altitude sensing applications. One common sensor for this purpose is the BMP 180 or BMP 280. This is a 5 volt SPD type relay module that can be controlled electronically. It's used to control high voltage devices with a low voltage microcontroller like an Arduino, commonly used for home automation projects. This is a speed module and is used to measure the speed of a rotating object. With this module, you can build a DC motor RPM monitoring system. This is the most popular ESP8266 module and it also has this adopter that 
makes it bit more friendly. With this module, you can make IoT-based projects. Bluetooth module enables wireless communication via Bluetooth. Common modules include HC-05 and HC-06, used for connecting devices like Arduino to smartphones, sensors, or other microcontrollers. N-Line 110 module is a dual-channel H-Bridge motor driver module. It's used to control the direction and speed of DC motors, commonly used in robotics projects. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Bro.